Congressman Vince Fong joins us now. Congressman Fong, you are from California. In fact, I was looking, and I think some of your time in the California State Assembly overlapped with Kamala Harris as attorney general. I'm wondering what she was like. You're a local. Well, she's rebranded herself uh, so many times. Uh, and as a Californian, I've had a front row seat uh, to all the failed policies that have come out of, of her career. And uh, But she can't deflect away from the consequences of her progressive agenda. You look at the border. San Diego right now is the most active uh, location when it comes to illegal immigration. You look at crime. Look at her home city of Oakland. Uh, and, and, of course, the Bay Area, riddled with retail theft and, and, and property crime and violent crime, uh, those are from her policies and from her progressive allies. You look at the economy, you look at gas prices, electricity prices, everything's on the rise. The affordability crisis in California is very real, and that's all tied to her policies, her failed decisions, and her progressive allies. You know, there's a bit of an irony here. So you have this coup, as Republicans are calling it, waged by progressives in California. It was Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff, after all, that set this off. And now, all of a sudden, they want to give us a, a progressive from California, Kamala Harris. Really interesting. It kind of seems like the Californication of America. We'll see. But one thing specifically I wanted to ask you about is Prop 47. This is something Kamala pushed as a tough-on-crime policy. It downgraded some nonviolent felonies to misdemeanors. And when I dig into this, it kind of seems like Kamala Harris was behind the crime wave there in California. Was she instrumental to it? Absolutely. Prop 47 is one of the, the worst policies that have been put in place. Uh, she was the attorney general that was in charge of overseeing the title and summary, and she failed to input into the summary very, very important pieces of information to the voters. She made it sound like it was uh, the best thing ever. And when now uh, you look at the data, uh, a recent audit came out from the state auditor in California, crime is up, property crime is up. Um, you know, we are now pushing Prop 36 uh, in California to undo the damage of Prop 47. So she's going to try to claim that she's some tough prosecutor, but she was the one that reduced cr uh, uh, criminal uh, accountability on, 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 on crime and retail theft. Well, it sounds like the nation has reason to be skeptical when she comes out as this tough-on-crime prosecutor. Congressman Fong, thank you for that insight straight from California.